Howdy out Lone Star Roddy here. I'm going to change out the oil cooling line on the 1998 Chevy Astro van that I'm doing a van conversion. Y'all stick around. I think take these oil lines off right here and I need to double check this fitting see if that's uh, correct to the fitting which is this fitting right here I gotta double check see if that's gonna fit Unfortunately, the thread sides are different, so I'm going to have to go get one that is the same size as that one. Okay, this is what I look like after putting that oil line in, and it was a lot dirtier, but my hands were filthy. And, uh, yeah, hands are a lot cleaner than what they were. I had, I had grease and grime all the way up my elbows. Yeah, I might have should have had that work done too. <laughs> so there's some of the grime down in the bowl. I use that fast orange to clean my arms up. Hey guys, I'm recording this the uh, day after I did the oil line replacement. Uh, I couldn't record it like I wanted to because my hands were so greasy from taking the line out the old one yeah it was a mess <laughs> but i'm going to show you what i did and hopefully this it will be helpful uh, yeah all right guys this is the new line and also the new fittings there's one down there you, see if i can kind of zoom in on that there it is down at the bottom that that one was a booger to get in, but I got it in. And yeah, uh, and here is the where the line comes into where the oil filter is. And let me see if I can get back here. There we go. The line is running. There, all that is brand new. And you see that clamp right there? Um, I need to get the bolt in there that holds that against the, I believe it's the engine block, but uh, I wasn't able to put it in there, but I'll get it in there. Uh, I don't think it's going to hurt anything right at the moment. Well, there's my handprint on the door, <laughs> pulling myself out from under there. Yeah, I'm going to need to uh, clean up some areas of here from my hand prints all right guys these are the tools that i had to use this is a one inch wrench i had to purchase that because i didn't have one uh, this one inch wrench took off the uh, fittings for the hose that for the tubing that went into the radiator here is a 10 millimeter wrench which takes the takes the tubing off of where it connects into that oil filter area. A 12 millimeter, uh, I was able to use a wrench on it for that mount, this right here. This uh, bolt here is a 12 millimeter on the top that uh, I didn't get in there because I wasn't able to get it all cleaned out. Uh, when I go get the air conditioning removed and everything, that air conditioning hose runs under there in the same area. 
I'm going to have the guy put this in for me because I'm sure it needs to be there. <laughs> and the other thing that I used was this pick. And I bought a set of picks, removed the rings on them fitting so I could take those out. Uh, very handy to have. So I did end up purchasing a couple of tools to put that in. Uh, if I ever had to do that again, I might pay somebody to do it. It's crazy. Catch you on the road here in Hearst, Texas. My new 1998 Chevy Astrovan. And I got my hands dirty again. <laughs> they were covered in grease. My face was covered in grease and all that stuff.